Hello staff, welcome to Tech Tuesday training. Today we're going to be going over the finer features of Schoology Gradebook and PowerSchool Gradebook. The first one we're going to take a look at today is Schoology. What you need to do right now is go ahead and log into your Schoology account. You can do that at schoology.kis.ac. Once you're logged in, you'll be presented with the home screen page, which looks very similar to what you will see right here. It will have a calendar, it will have the reminders that you have as well as any recent activity in any of your groups or courses. The students will see a very similar view. What I want you to do today is go ahead and click on courses first. Once you click on the courses list, it should populate with the list of courses that you have in PowerSchool. I'm going to go ahead and select my course, which is Coding for Beginners for Prep, just as an example that you can see. Once I'm in the course, it automatically will show you the materials view for your course. Although it's the most powerful view in the system, it takes a little bit more to decode what's going on. So what I want to do first is walk you through the gradebook. Go ahead and click on the gradebook tab on the left hand side. Once you select the gradebook, another option is going to pop up, which is the grade setup. Go ahead and select that. Now, what you can see is that I've made some category changes in my gradebook that I want to show you how to make in yours. The first is adding weighted categories. The second is adding grading periods and making sure those line up with what you need and changing the scale to the KIS master. So I'm going to show you those in series. The first is adding new categories. All you do is click the add button and you call it whatever you would like. Since I already have my categories in, I'm just going to show you what these options are. You can calculate based on the total points for that category or on the percentage that students earn. You can also drop the lowest score if you would like, or the lowest 10 scores if you would like. The first time you create a category, this waiting option will not appear. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So once you create your first category, you'll get this option of a check mark up here called Weight Categories. When you click it, it will make these selections clickable. So right now they're all weighted equivalent, which does their percentage as a split. If I weighted them out of 100 per se, so say 33, 33, and 33, it will update all of my courses to be an exact split of those. So think of your categories as percentages out of 100. When you've changed that, go ahead and hit Save Changes at the bottom of the page and that will update it for your course. Now the other thing that you're going to want to do in here before you copy this to any of your other courses is go ahead and create a KIS master rubric. So how you do that is over here where it says scales and rubrics go ahead and switch over to the rubrics view like I just did and you can go ahead and add your own rubric. What you're going to see is this is a default four-point rubric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a master rubric that I can then edit later. When you scroll over any grading scale item, you'll see a little plus button. What that does is it will duplicate the grade scale that you have. Now, what you can do is using the KIS terms, go ahead and create your own rubric and add descriptions as you would like. When you hit create, that will make that a rubric template for your course. As you can see, I have this master rubric here now. Now, if I want to copy these settings into every course that I have, I will just go ahead and click Copy Settings. What that will do is it will pop up a couple of options. The first is which things do you want to copy? The categories, the grade scales, or the rubrics, or all of them. And which courses would you like to transfer them to? When you select a course and hit Copy, it will go ahead and copy all of the settings that you just created, including the weighting and the rubrics and all of that directly into your course. That's how you set up your gradebook in Schoology.